guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, I'm doing like a little part two of early, well, like I guess mid spring outfits now. Um, but I had a really fun time last time and I really enjoyed looking at different spring outfits and kind of trying to bring in my favorite items to this year's kind of trends. Um, so I'm gonna be doing the same thing really. I have Pinterest inspo and I've just got a couple of secondhand pieces new for my wardrobe. So I'm excited to style them. Um, let's just get into it, shall we? The first one I wanted to start with is boxer shorts. Cause as you guys know, I love mine. Um, I still need to buy another pair. Uh, I don't know what kind of style I'm gonna go for, but I figured this outfit will look cute. Um, even though her boxer shorts, I think are either a dark blue pattern or a black. Um, I still want to do it with my light blue ones and see how it fits. Cause I love the like sandwiching here of like a really formal kind of top or like what looks like a formal top and formal shoes, but like boxer shorts in the middle. I think it's just so fun and playful and the tension is there, which I think makes a good outfit. So I'm just gonna start with this one. Let's get into it. Okay, so my top is like less of a actual vest than hers is. Um, it's more of just like a summer top that I've actually borrowed from my sister um, to go away on holiday soon. But I think the shape is there and it's really cute. And then obviously the boxer shorts are a different color to hers, but I think the overall like look and casualness of the boxer shorts is there. Let's get onto her little details. I think, I don't think she has many. I've already got socks on um, and she's got loafers on. And I thought about this because I have loafers, but they have a buckle on them. And I think that would just kind of ruin it a little bit. So what I wanted to do instead was Mary Jane platforms. Believe it or not, these shoes are actually like eight years old. <laughs> um, I think I bought them when I was still in school trying to get away with them as like school shoes. And my mum took one look at them and said like, no. Um, but I think they're really cute. I don't wear them out enough to be honest. Yeah, I think this outfit's really, really sweet. Um, I don't think there's actually much more to hers except for a bag and I've got a bag so I'll pop that on. But my Garni bag here, this is just kind of it really. Um, I'd say this is pretty true to what she's got on and I do kind of like the blue of these boxer shorts quite a bit so I almost prefer it to hers in a way because it's a little bit of colour, I mean muted colour sure but a little bit of colour. Um, and I really like the tension of like the classy top, the classy bottoms, and then just like boxer shorts. It feels really wearable for maybe like late spring, early summer, not now, cause it's a little bit cold, but yeah, I think this is really, really sweet. I just have to like steal this top from my sister, I guess. <laughs> but it kind of makes sense to do the other boxer shorts one next, just to mean, just so it means I don't have to take them off. Um, and the next one's really, really sweet. It's just like a classic kind of look. And I just thought it could be really cute and a way to wear boxer shorts in spring. Um, Cause that can be kind of challenging with the weather, Lon weather in London. So that can be kind of challenging with the weather in London. So I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. Um, so I'll take this top off and the shoes, but we'll go with like a white base t-shirt underneath and then build. So this is the very, very basics of the outfit. Actually, I think they are wearing a slightly longer t-shirt because mine only comes up to like the top and I think hers comes down to like here. So maybe I need to switch it out for a better one. Hold on. This one's slightly rattier. It's not actually mine, it's my boyfriend's, but I think the length is better and the top's gonna be hidden anyway. I guess let's go with a jumper next. I feel like we've gone from the t-shirt not being long enough to being almost too long, but um, I wonder if I could like tuck it up slightly and then like unfold it. I mean, it's kind of like messier than hers. I think hers like falls a bit nicer because my jumper is more of like a balloon jumper. Um, which can be kind of flattering, but I don't know if it looks that flattering right now. But we're gonna persevere because I'm excited about the trainers part of this. Um, I know she's just put like white trainers on, but I got some burgundy sneakers the other day and I really wanted to try them with this blue because I think the color combo would just look perfect. Why do I get the feeling that I've recreated something really similar to this before? Um, I think I've definitely paired this jumper and these boxer shorts together before, but that's okay. It means we're wearing our wardrobe, right? It looks like she has a bag. Hmm, do I go black or I have a little orange purse? Like do these colors work together? I think they kind of do. I don't hate it. I think it's just kind of like, I mean, this definitely goes. 
and these definitely go and the shoes go with the boxer shorts so like all together this is kind of cute kind of a uh, fun playing with colors which i don't normally do i could definitely see myself wearing this on like again a later spring early summer day um because right now it's very cold in the uk yeah what do you guys think outfit two i didn't even ask you what you thought of outfit one but feel free to give me comments on everything next outfit i guess i was excited for this one specifically because it was gonna go around one of my new items which is a jill sander t-shirt that i've been waiting for forever um and i have i guess something I could do with the skirt. I definitely don't have like an exact replica of this, but I have like a black sheer skirt. And I wanted to give that a try with the cowboy boots because I loved the cowboy boots peeking through with the t-shirt. So I'm gonna put on, I guess, the t-shirt and the dress underneath and we'll kind of review. Okay, so the obvious problem is that my dress is nowhere near as long as hers. She's got like a maxi skirt on. And I have a midi skirt at best, but it is sheer. So it's kind of got the vibe. Um, but I do also have a black maxi skirt and I do have a white one as well. So I kind of want to try it on with the cowboy boots, but I might like switch after um, and see like it with a different bottom. This t-shirt is massive on me. I've just realized <laughs> it's, is it too big? It's kind of too big. This is supposed to be like here, right? Um, but I also just kind of love it. So, I mean, it's just so comfy. I don't know, do you guys think it's too big? I don't know if I can actually return it because that's the problem with resale sites, right? But I love a Jill Sander t-shirt. So what are you gonna do? Maybe I bought a men's, which is why it's so big because I swear I did buy it in my size. Anyway, let me put on the cowboy boots. Okay, this is the look. I don't hate it. I actually really don't. Um, I think there's something to be said for this. <laughs> it's almost like a juxtaposition. What I thought was gonna happen was that the skirt was gonna juxtapose with the boots. But I feel like because they're both kind of like slim and then you've got the massive t-shirt over the top, I think it kind of works. Like I don't, I, I'm seeing this here. I think also this would look so cool with a mini skirt. I almost wanna try that. I think I'm gonna try that really quickly. I am in love with this look. This is the one. This is the one if we're doing one. This is so cute, especially, oh my God, tucked up. So cute. I feel like a balloon on top and then just like really cute on the bottom. And with my black bag. Okay, I can't be bothered to take the strap off, but like unstrapped. What a cute little vibe. I'm really feeling this to be honest. Um, and funny enough, one of my other outfit inspos had this look, but with shorts. So I'm gonna try that on next. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you like this with the sheer midi skirt or with the black mini skirt? I think the mini skirt for me, I just feel really, really comfy. And I don't actually care if you guys think this t-shirt's too big because I don't think I'm ever taking it off. Right, let's put on the denim shorts. This is giving cowboy summer. Um, from my other video. The, this is giving cowboy summer. And then this is just like completing the look. I'm again, I'm in love. I just love this t-shirt. I love it. I've wanted one for ages and ages. I really like it. I really like the outfit inspo that was like behind this look. I love her colorful boots. And I've been thinking about getting another pair of boots and like what color I might want them in and like what style, because I do really like her. What would you call them? Like biker boots, but this look, right? Hair up, sunglasses on. It's just so easy. I can see myself wearing this like all the time. And these shorts have been a bit of a pain for me, like styling them because they are an awkward length, but I really like how they're sitting with the cowboy boots. I've done it guys. I've, I've found the look of the summer. <laughs> um, do we, should we pack up the video? Should we? Um, funny enough, <laughs> you're gonna love this. The next outfit inspo is this t-shirt. Hers is massive too, to be fair. I think this is where I got my inspo from. Hers is like hitting at the same sleeve length. Like look, look at her and look at me. She has the same length. So I'm not, no longer worried, but I really, really like the look of like almost nothing underneath this and then heels. So I'm gonna try recreate that, but I am gonna put shorts underneath cause I'm not that daring, but Let's get onto this next outfit. Okay, so what I've done is rolled up my, like I've got white shorts on underneath and I've just rolled them up so you can't see them, but they're there, don't worry. And then 
I really liked her like combination of green heels, green bag. I don't have anything like this. So I think the next best, best thing is white heels, orange bag. We're gonna try that. Okay, heels on and I really like the like nude look. That's what I'm kind of going for because I loved how she's got like a massive t-shirt on and nothing else. Um, clearly that's my vibe too. Um, so yeah, these nude heels, whilst they're not as colorful as hers and fun, I think are doing the job right. And then orange bag. Okay, she's sleeked her hair. I'm not gonna sleek my hair. I think the ponytail is kind of serving me right now. Um, and then And then just sunglasses, right? I'm feeling this again. This is again a look. Um, I could see myself wearing this, obviously in summer, because it's it's still cold. But I could definitely see myself wearing this as just like a little cute like drinks in a pub garden or like on holiday, because it would be a bit warmer. So cute. Love, love, love this. I want to try it with a bucket hat, which is a Jackamoose bucket hat, and I feel like maybe it'll be too many logos. But I want to try it because I think it'll be really, really sweet. I can't miss today. <laughs> You're probably watching this like, this looks really, really bad. But for me, this is fashion. This is summer for me. Um, I think we've bypassed spring and we're into the mid of summer. But how cute is this for a festival? How cute is this look? Maybe not the um, heels. Maybe you'd have to go with like sandals instead. But I really, really love this bucket hat. This hat, this t-shirt and this bucket hat have been on my list for ages, like at least a year last summer. And I've just been like waiting to get them really. So like the fact that I've got them now makes me so happy, makes it worth the wait and everything. Okay, next one I wanted to do looked kind of fun. I'm gonna obviously do what I can with what I have because I don't have striped pants. I have white pants and a striped top and a striped jumper. So I kind of wanted to play with the stripes like they've done in this outfit here um, and just see how it turned out. Okay, again, these trousers are borrowed from my sister. I think they're really, really nice. I definitely want to get myself a pair. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit base. And then I have a jumper that I'm gonna put on, which is striped as well. So we'll get that contrast of the stripes. I think she's almost like wrapped it round her shoulders like this. I think this is kind of cute actually. I really like the difference in stripes. I've never styled these pieces before together and they're mine. So maybe I was just missing the white. Oh, actually it's inside out, let me turn it in. Yeah, I've never styled these two stripes together before. It's not something that I would have thought of, but I saw this inspo and I was like, oh, I actually have these items um, or something like them. And it just kind of felt right. And I really, really like it now. Um, yeah, so I guess let's build the rest of the outfit, which looks quite simple. They've got white shoes on, but I think because this is really white and this is really white, I think it'd be better with black shoes. I have a pair of black sandals, which look kind of like the vibe she's got. So I'm gonna put them on. I could definitely see myself wearing something like this to the beach or something. because I think it's so wearable. In a UK summer, you're actually not sure about the weather at all times. So having a jumper incorporated into the outfit feels really, really nice. What else has she got? She's got crate of strawberries. Not recreating that. I think that's going a bit too far but the crate of strawberries is black. So I'm gonna go for a black handbag. There we go, that's super cute. I really like this. I definitely need to get myself a pair of these white trousers and steam them when I do, cause these are a bit wrinkled. But this is outfit who knows what. There'll be a running count on the screen cause I can never remember. But yeah, let's go on to the next one. This is a long video today actually. You're welcome. I wanted to save like my favorite till last. So this was like a medium one and I thought a really cute way to style my sun hat. It just looked really easy. So I'm gonna put on blue jeans and a white tank of some description. Okay, I've put on just this white t-shirt and jeans. Obviously it's a really simple t-shirt. I want a tank like she's got to be honest, but I've seen like a fourth and reckless one which looks really cute, which I might try source from like a resale site or whatever. But for now, I think this will do. I'm gonna put on the same uh, black sandals that I had on last time, because I think they're pretty faithful to what she's got. I don't have any that are like exactly like hers and strappy. Um, I do have ballet flats, which I think would also work well, but these were here, so we're gonna use them. And then my sun hat. Once again, what a cute little outfit. What a cute little outfit. 
I think really, really just wearable for summer. Like there's literally nothing in this. Black handbag and you're kind of done. Like, and it's just so wearable, you know? Um, it's nothing special, but the sun hat's really cute. And I just kind of wanted to show like the versatility of it. Just like style it in infinite ways, which is why I went for quite a neutral color. Um, Cause I wanted to wear it as much as possible cause it's so cute. Um, I do feel like it's gonna be a hat summer. I've said this in another video. I'm just really into like baseball hats and like sun hats. My sister said the same thing. Like we were just on the same wavelength without talking about it first. So yeah, I feel like that's a little like trend that's coming. We have two more outfits because I wanted to try style a the white skirt my sister lent me for holiday as well, which is like a white maxi skirt, which I've also been looking into buying really obsessed with white this summer, I've said this before. Um, so I wanted to try style this one first with my Damson Matter vest, cause I thought it'd just be so cute. Okay, this is the outfit that I wanted to style. I think it's so, so cute. And particularly what I was thinking about was wearing a bikini under this. I've just kept on my like white bra, so it's fine. But like, how cute would this be? Like coming back from the beach in like a European city and like stopping in town and you know, wearing this just overneath, it's so perfect. Um, I think this would be really, really cute in my white sandals. So I'm gonna put them back on. I might have to call this video something like early summer looks instead, because they've all been really summer focused. Um, clearly you cannot wear this in the UK for spring, but I really, really like this. I think it's kind of unique, but also like kind of following the style that everyone else is doing. Yeah, what else? Maybe my orange bag? I don't know why, I'm really gravitating towards this. But yeah, look at those colors. How more summer could you get? Like, this is not a spring video anymore. This is summer only, but so cute. I love this with this. Why have I not styled this together yet? This is why I love doing these videos. It's so fun. Okay, final one. We're gonna get onto this now. Been waiting because I bought this like vintage lace white dress that I showed you guys on my Depop video, I think, and it finally arrived. I'm so excited to wear it, so excited to show you. So I'm gonna pop it on and then we'll go from there because I think I'm styling it with cowboy boots to make it a bit more springy. Okay, this is the white dress. Um, clearly it's a little bit bridal, but I really, really like it. I feel like it's perfect for like European summer. Um, which is my vibe for this summer. If you haven't gotten on yet, you didn't watch my Depop video. Obviously it's very formal kind of, but I wanna find out ways of like dressing it down. Um, before I get onto the cowboy boots, I wanted to just try it with my hat because I think that's how I'm gonna wear it on holiday. So I'm gonna put my hat on. I mean, how cute. I mean, one accessory and it already feels a little bit styled down. Um, yeah, I love it. But let's go back to the style inspo, the Pinterest image. Um, she styled it with cowboy boots just to kind of like, I guess, springify it and also dress it down a little bit. And I wanted to try to do the same. And then maybe with my black handbag and some sunglasses in my hair, or maybe my hair up, we'll play around with that. Okay, what a cool look, love it. I mean, yeah, what is not to like here? Cowboy boots and a silk dress, like, I think actually the nicest hair for this would be like a slicked back bun, um, but I am not that quick at doing slick backed hair and I don't want this video to run on like an hour and I have to edit it. So for now, I've got my hair up like this. I think it's really cute. Um, it's still kind of formal. So I wonder if I could wear it with like a jumper, maybe my like striped jumper that I had out earlier. Mm, I'm not sure. It's not giving the same way it gave with the other outfit I wore this with. Um, it's kind of cute though. Like just kind of like casually styling it like this. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck with this one um, cause I really want to wear this and I feel like it would work with trainers obviously, but I did want to style it with my cowboy boots. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions for this last one and let me know if you like the dress cause I love it. Um, I'm not actually sure if I can sit down in it yet, but I love it, so I can't wait to wear it on holiday. It'd be so nice. What I think I'm gonna do is like a lot of TikToks while I'm out there in Corfu. So watch those. Um, <laughs> I'll be uploading them, I think, while I'm away um, or the week after. So yeah, if you want to see what I'm wearing on holiday, then watch those, cause that should give you a lot of insight and a lot of summer and late spring inspo. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think we're at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
Um, I hope there was one outfit you liked. Uh, let me know which of the items that I recently bought you like the most now you've seen them on. Yeah, have a lovely, lovely weekend and I will speak to you really soon. Bye.